We're all familiar with electrostatics. And I want to show you a very simple electrostatic demonstration, which will be uh, incorporated into um, a study of molecules. It, I think you'll see the connection. In this burette, I have water. In this burette, I have uh, toluene. And uh, we're going to make use of one of the properties of each of toluene and water to do this demonstration. My comb. Here's a water stream coming out of the burette. And you can see the effect that the comb has on the water stream. If instead of using my comb, we use the standard way of doing it, that is cat's fur with an ebonite rod, we get a much better charge, but the same idea. OK? Now, question. Uh, what, charge is, what, uh, what charge from what you know of? from past experience, what charge is there on the ebonite rod? And the students will almost always say negative because they've studied electrostatics in grade nine. Well, the negative charge on the ebonite rod attracted the water stream to your right. Let's put what you recognize as a positive charge on a glass rod by stroking it with silk, uh, and we'll do the same thing. And if the negative charge attracted the water stream, the positive charge obviously will repel it. And you can see that it repelled it. Well, not really. It attracted it again. OK, why? How can a negative charge attract something? and then a positive charge attracts the same thing. Ordinarily, we say negative attracts positive and positive attracts negative. Therefore, if the ebonite rod is negative, the water stream must be positive. If the glass rod is positive, then the water stream must be negative. Or, from what we've seen, the water stream must be both positive and negative. Let's try the same thing with the other liquid we have here, toluene. With a glass rod, positive charge on the glass rod. Negative charge on the ebonite rod. Toluene is not a polar molecule. It doesn't have a positive end and a negative end. Water appears to be a polar molecule. It has a positive end and a negative end. And this is true of many, many molecules. Uh, those that have an uneven distribution of electrons. 